Thanks, phone. Good day, guys. Good evening. <clears throat> How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Um, I'm not too bad. Sorry, it's a total cock up with the start time tonight because I was able to start a little bit earlier, but unfortunately, due to stuff that happened on the way home, I got home late and other things happened, and then basically, I'm starting my normal time. Sorry, it's just one of those things. Hi, Jack. How you doing? Um, yeah, not much I can do about that. It's um, everything happens for a reason, and yeah, <sighs> I've done that wrong as well. I can see I'm having problems. C A Y P A L dot M E forward slash H E N T I S D sixty five sixty nine. Should we try that again? yeah i'm not too bad a little bit better than what i was this morning but uh this this earlier this week but um yeah still the same old same old um i'll turn the email off because i don't want that um okay so <coughs> we'll do that there let me just do that there Let's see. punch that in there punch it chewy let's pop into there Pop that on there, that there. Oomph. I'm in the back cave as well. Um, boom, 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 boom. And I need to do it on Facebook, don't I? Two seconds. We'll get the thing back up. There we go. Start a new journey. Um, Microsoft, sod off. Ah, oh, this, this is. This is doing my head in that Microsoft always wants me to sign into OneDrive, which I refuse to to use. I will not use their the same with Google um, or Facebook or Samsung. I will not use their cloud service. It's just ugh, does my head in. Um, right. Uh, let's be okay. We'll post that. Do you want to do? Thank you. Um, back on YouTube, are we? I don't think even... Yeah, I am on Discord. Sorry, guys. Right, so I was just... Hi, Bradley. Oh, I was just like, trying to set up everything at the moment and see how we get on. Um, back cave. Hello, guys. Oh, look, you're in the back cave. I am. Back cave in. You are. Okay. Um, right, what are we doing now? Oh, just basically make sure that I am monetizing this because I didn't monetize the one on Saturday. Was not a happy bunny. No, but anyway, the US government are going to get most of all that anyway. So, yeah, that's why, guys, if you're going to do donate anything, donate it on PayPal if you can, because the US government won't get it. I get it all. Um, right, I think that's it. I really think that's it. We can start. Um, so, how is everyone? Hi, Evan. How you doing? Oh, right, shall we start then? This evening's shenanigans. So we're okay. Um, so those of you that has the Arosa Line E, what do you think of it? Before I start with this old bloke on here. Our new model bus, how you doing? I mean, I had a quick look yesterday. <laughs> it's the American government, Jack. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I actually drove it straight through a red light on the actual introduction. So, yeah, I was kind of... Um, yeah, okay. I see there's a lot of people complaining about it already on the Dovetail forums. I'm like, oh, my. God. do they not watch the live streams that's what the live streams are there so people can get an overall in introduction to it and the guy from rivet did say it will be shipping with some bugs you know what what doesn't ship with bugs these days most stuff does right should we get on with the introduction <laughs> the retirement home again yes I know, Jack, you said you weren't going to buy it. You know what? I was in two minds about buying it. 
I was really in two minds like, late last night. Just after, not because of, not because of any anything that people have picked up on. Not the, the, the lack of trees or whatever. I mean, I'm not there to look at the trees, all right? It's just that I, I don't know. I, I just really didn't fancy buying it. GE442 Introduction. Welcome. Welcome to this introduction for the GE442 <laughs> the old bloke from the retirement home again. RHB red livery. During this introduction, we will go through the following procedures. Starting and stopping the locomotive, coupling, loading and unloading. Climb aboard to get started. You have six days left for the paint a locomotive competition. It ends midnight Wednesday, 23.59 Wednesday. Now, I was looking around here thinking, where the hell's the train? I thought, oh, there's a bug there already. But no, it's... Um, if, I, if I walk back away from the timetable a bit more... Can you click that button? Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah, I was like, where's the train? It's like, oh, okay, walk there. So is, is this Kerr that we're at? Obviously, if you haven't seen the route, the actual route, Kerr station there, which I think is the normal gauge, isn't it? Standard gauge, and then we've got the little bit of narrow gauge here. Um, and then, oh, we've got trains there already. That. Um, so, yeah, it looks a bit okay. Nice, nice and squiggly, going up and down a bit, elevation. A couple of cutbacks there, hairpins. And then we're up there at a Rosa. I think it's a Rosa. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is an Aussie guy. I'm not sure. I think he's the one that turns up in the streams sometimes. PJ Mogash. Mogash, is it? Or something like that. So we are a bit snowy. Mountains are a little bit bare. Doesn't matter me one bit. So this is... Oh, so we can't go there, look. So we've got an invisible wall there. Oh, okay. So you can't even have a look at that, which I think... Oh, God. The invisible walls do my head in. Right, shall we get in then? Oh, let's... Get that on the old... Where is it? There it is. See, this, the snow still has that shiny look, which is probably look, looks a little bit like ice. So better not trip up. So there's one... Oh, look... Can you play with the mirrors outside? No, you have to do that on the inside. It does look nice at first. It's for a little loco. It does look really, really nice. And the other thing as well, which is really annoying, I forgot to turn the water heater off today. So a lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. Yay! Is that cab two end? And is this? I've got to look. Sorry. Yeah, it is. Look, cab one end. Cab to end. That's cool. Don't know what that is though. Well, I know that was the window. Right. So it doesn't look too bad, does it? It looks really nice inside, and then it's like it's really small. So someone as big as me can't really, shouldn't really be able to get in here. But yeah, it looks looks nice and quaint, really. And you got the window outside. That's just like one. I'm not sure what class it is, but one of the German electric locos has it where you can see the windows actually inside. You see the electrical equipment. I'm thinking that would look good in in TSW. Someone will tell me what class it is. Right, so let's sit in the seat. A lot of time will be spent in the seat. Switch the master key to on to enable this cap for driving. The reverser controls the direction. Headlights are important in letting others around you know that this locomotive is operational. Set the lights to the correct configuration needed for this service. Okay, rear lights are one. So I'm doing this because I've, I've literally done some of this last night and then I spat it after six metres. The control wheel is split into two zones. Right, so who we got? Bremsen Hiya, Jeff. How you doing? Uh, set the control wheel to 20, minus 20.
So I've set it to minus 20. The train vacuum brake should be used to bring the locomotive to a stop when driving in a pedal. The locomotive air brake only applies the brake on the locomotive. This should only be used when operating the locomotive without additional. The Bremsen zone controls the locomotive's dynamic brake. Oh. The Fahren zone controls the power supplied to the traction motors and, depending on the weight of the train, also acts as a speed selector. Okay. Set the control wheel to one. Oh, I like that. So we set the control wheel to one. There we go. Churn or stop at location. See, I did this like yesterday and I got a red light. It's the loop, isn't it? I'm going to... Oh, come on. Seriously? Now open the dispatch menu and contact the signaler to gain access to the occupied siding. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? I don't like these vacuum brakes. I'll end up using the bloody um, uh, air brakes, sod it. Um, how long is it? It's... Um... Yeah, it's £22.49. It's not 24 quid, so I got 10% off. So I only, pa oh, hello. I only paid £22.49, so um, yeah, on the PS4. So the other th the thing you have to do is literally learn the locomotive. They're not really giving you enough a tutorial about the locomotive itself. Jesus. <laughs> How's your neck? Is that the coupling? Wow. Hold on a minute. I want to have a look at the doors, mate. The coaches, even. They look quite nice, don't they? It's the old request stop there, isn't it? Looks to say, do I dare try falling down? You know me, I'll try to break stuff. Uh, better luck, shut the doors, don't I? Coaches are quite nice, aren't they? Oh, it's a loco then. Duh. Set the. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at things and I'm. Set the train vacuum brake to full service. Set the control wheel to off. Set the reverser to neutral. 
I've got to loco break. I've got to take that off. Set the rear lights to zero. I think there's also the other thing is as well. It's wise to to do the manual for this. Read it. Set the front lights to zero. Set the last key off. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Um, apparently the, the, the route is quite steep, and I'm not talking about price either. Um, it's depending whether you want it or not. Do you want to pay full price for it? Well, that's interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, it it depends what you want to get out of the route, to be honest. What you want to do with it. I mean, I like streaming, so you know what I mean. I'll be streaming it. I'm also going to be trying to to learn to drive it. Um, and like I said, I I was very what you called it about whether I was going to buy. It. Oh, this chair looks nice. Is there a door here that you can go through as well? Is that door open? Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if you can give the stream a like, thanks guys. Uh, not sure what nine morons were doing disliking, but there you go. You can't prove, you can't choose everyone. Can't impress everyone. Let them dislike it. I just have no idea what their problem is. Probably someone with an axe to grind about against them, DTG and Rivet, you know. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at the end of the day, what they don't realise is that every time they come into my stream and dislike it, it puts a view account up. So I still get money for it. So, yeah, dickheads. Right, set the rear lights to one. Yeah. Set the front lights to two. Oh, two, sorry. So is this, can you use this? No. Set the reverser to forward. Oh, that's a loco break. Right then, and we're off in a minute. Chair platform two. Obviously the mirrors don't move, or well, they did. Hi Joshua, how you doing? Yeah, I know where that's come from because I posted in Richard's forum and of course Mr. Train Spastic's in there and he'll go around saying quick everyone dislike it, Hent is streaming oh well and the thing is though, if everyone wants to listen to what Train Spastic says that's their problem isn't it shows how sad they are near side where's the near side mirror button I'll have to look at that one in the in the menu so I don't worry too much about the the mirrors I've got to stop this first A 
It does sound like a 72 stock, yeah. Oh, that's cool, his lights just come on. They're also complaining about the um, in the stream there was no PIS. Um, but they've turned around and said, but literally no station uses it. It's only on that sure, I think. So we're going to do a couple of scenarios anyway. Press the door release button for the appropriate platform side to allow passengers to climb the board. Just had to remember what it was. Oh, okay. Near the gauges on my left. I'll, I'll have to download the, the manual if they've got it out. Where's my biggest fan? Hi, Johan, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, mate. Appreciate it. <clears throat> right, just let him do that a second. How are we doing? Right, lock the doors. Right, doors locked. Let me go to sure start. Take the brakes off. Wow, it's very responsive, isn't it? Are my lights on? Oh my god, you gotta make sure you got a uh, got speed. You can't turn the speed off. Hey! Hi, oh, yeah? How you doing? Ooh. How you doing, Rob? Welcome to the stream as well. It's appreciated. I don't know, Johan. I I really don't know. Just the usual morons and malcontents. Perhaps they don't like the uh, the the route. Oh no, Jack! What did you do? Three GTA accounts, oh my god. GTA Online accounts, yeah, I, I gave up with GTA Online. Too many idiots.
I've no idea. Yeah, that's true, Rob. Electra, sorry. Well, you know what they say, hate is going to hate. Don't worry about it, guys. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't worry about it. We know who's behind it. And he'll he'll plead all innocence. Wasn't him. He's got He's got emotional problems, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, just let him get on with it. I'm quite surprised I don't have the old... Um, the spam attack yet. Really surprised at that. So where are we off to now? Luen's uh, Castile Platform 2. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Rob. Anyway, how are you? Because I haven't spoken to you for a while. Yeah, I, I know, Jack. I've had that feeling, actually. I nah, don't worry about that. Oh yeah, Marla, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So we stop in here, are we? Oh, six kilometers. So we get a nice little run. It's, I mean, to be honest, for a, for a little intro to the thing, it's not bad. Yeah, that is the problem. It's a bit annoying where it's just 25. Was that a neutral section? I take it's continually welded well, rail even. Oh, we're even going to do 33 kilometres an hour. Yeah. I'm not holding my breath though. <laughs> oh, bit of speedy. I mean, again, the loco detail looks really, really great. You can switch the engine room lights on and off.
I suppose this is also one where you have to pay attention to it. Oh, nice. I'm sure I've got the um, 86 pack somewhere. I was even looking at downloading the, Dre the, the Dresden to Reiser route. Because that I love that. That just looks awesome. I, I quite like German routes as well as American and the UK routes. I've got so many in, in, in um, Train Sim World. Uh, train Sim. Well, the, the good thing is with the tunnels with Clinchfield yeah that looks nice the 87 really does look nice the good thing is with Clinchfield is that you've got there's over 26 tunnels or well, about 26 tunnels they say so they've done away with the disabling um, the camera in the tunnel what's that there You can see the gradient, and that's what I like. Twenty on Great Western Express. And the good thing is now that I've, I've got a PC that that I can actually um, play Train Sim World, not Train Sim World. I'll, probably play trains in world with it actually uh oh motion blur is on yes thank you very much and what's my frame rate frame rate's about 29 something like that i mean i'm happy about the trees this it doesn't really ruin it for me to be honest It's a lovely little route. The textures are very good. You've got 60 frames a second, yeah. Not 32, I mean, you know, it's... It's a lot. Oh, M7, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to Clinchfield as well. Um, I really enjoyed the stream, all the all the video recording they did on. Um, well, it's both one it? the video and 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 the, the part stream on um, Tuesday, uh, Saturday. So that I'd really. I, I didn't think I'd like that as much as I would like a Rosa, but a Rosa, when I'd seen it with Jamie showcasing it, I just like, no. I, I just, something about it. 
but it's not bad to be honest hi ethan how you doing yes that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking about I like the old cut down trees by the tunnel. Uh, so how far are we away? 3.1 kilometres. Just trim her down a bit. Still at 1 in 40. How you doing, Ethan? So, Saturday I'm going to get it where well, I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to put all 21 routes in a, in a hat. And I'm going to be drawing out six routes. Five that I will drive and one as a backup. Um, I had a drive on the Long Island Railroad earlier this week as well and really enjoyed it. Ah, okay. I don't like the vacuum brakes. Ooh. Bit of foliage going through the old what's it? Yeah, I know it's it's got that it's got that written all over it to be honest. The worst thing is you can't do eight uh, free cam. The speed's going up and down. Oh, hello. Just dropped down to 25. So we've got a couple of engineers trains down next week as well. One's the top and tail... Uh, Cola 66 that's going for a ballast drop down Dorchester and there's another one down as well on the Tuesday I don't know, Ethan. I have a clue, but yeah, I don't know. It's nothing I've done. I've done nothing wrong, so yeah, just the the usual. Hello, Len. How are you? How long have you been here? I've not noticed you. Sorry. I do apologise. Welcome to the stream, Len. Well, I know this is supposedly taking half an hour, but I'm enjoying this. No, Clinchfield isn't going to be released next week. Clinchfield, I think you'll find, will be released... <coughs> um, Oh, just got it. Clinchfield, I think you'll find, will be released um, the week after. Damn, the brakes are effective, aren't they? Um, I think it's the same Tuesday, the, the, the week when the next road, road map is, I reckon.
Oh, blimey, come on. Yeah. Hi, Josie. How you doing? Welcome to stream, mate. Hope you're doing okay. So, for anyone that's got a, the Arosa Roo, what do you think of it? I just looked out the wrong window. Look at that. Oh, that's annoying. You can't look back. Hi, Nick Gallison, how you doing? Want to stream? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's just the only thing I'm worried about is well, I'm not worried about anything actually, to be honest. Because even though every you know you, I get dislikes, I still get paid for people turning up disliking it. So it counts as a view, which counts towards my paying. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not just letting go on with it. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm a lot better than what I was earlier this week. Oh, I'm stopping it. Oh no, a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on. Bit of wheel slip, get a bit of sand on that. Yeah, but come on. I mean, you got to, you got to draw a certain limit as to the what's the bare minimum f frames per second can you eke out of the PlayStation 4 and not just the PlayStation 4 Pro, but the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox before it starts affecting performance. The PS4 could probably the PS4 Pro and the Xbox equivalent could probably handle it but you know if you put a few more trees in but then with the normal standard ps4 you know you've got to you've got to start thinking about how how much of a, a cost the resources of extra trees are going to be i don't think a lot of people realize that obviously it's a lot of the pc people you know and you know the pc master race it's it's PC or nothing with them. Yeah. I see a collectible. It'd be nice doing walking the route on this. Train vacuum brake to full service, which is that one. Good work. That is the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that explains the full functionality and features of this locomotive. Welcome to Switzerland. Take control of a true icon of Swiss motive power over the incredibly picturesque Arosa line. Deliver passengers to the many stations of the mountainous <laughs> railway out of Switzerland's oldest town, Chur. Wind your oh, way Chur. through the streets or take in the breathtaking scenery of the Swiss Alps and its many peaks and valleys. With challenging grades to conquer, your passengers are waiting for a sightseeing tour to remember. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, collect snow globes, trigger cameras, 
and collect Ibex toys. Welcome to the Erosa line. Some people don't get a hint. Hey, gold, Bradley! Wasn't expecting that. That's not bad, little intro. Good evening, Dave. How are you? I'm not too bad. I hope you're okay. So I've just seen that you've come in. Right, so we're going to do a couple of scenarios and then... Well, we'll see. Well, actually, let's just have a quick look at what we get. Um, PlayStation's just warming up a bit. You'll probably hear my phone go off in a minute. Oh yeah, I'll do that at some point, but I won't do it tonight. Yeah, that that, that it does look nice. I mean, the lack of trees don't really bother me. Um, where are we? Sorry. Sod off Microsoft. Um, Sorry. Yay. Right, okay. So, uh, what's in the explores? I mean, so what time tables we got? I'll have a look at the scenarios in a minute. So, why have we got a. We got a different livery one then? Oh, I see. Two different numbers. Okay, oh, that's cool. Six, three, three, six. Oh, I see. So it's a range of different numbers, random numbers. Oh, that's cool. A roaster run round. So, how many services were there? There's 84 services. Hmm. So you got chair to roaster, a roaster chair, a roaster run round. Hmm, that's um, it's getting a bit repetitive after a while, isn't it? I suppose they'll be okay to do like. Oh, two. You got an, a chur run, a chur run round as well. So from twenty three thirty nine through to. Oh five oh seven. So, pff, yeah, that's not bad, Rod. Care. Jamaica. Yeah, I. Uh, as I was saying earlier on, I. I um. <sighs> Just wearing, wearing, reading Evans comment people may or may not have complained about the pavement being the wrong color and chur being too clean now to be honest i think that's just nitpicking i say chur didn't i it's cur sorry do apologize i'll upset the locals right okay so let's have a look at the scenarios what we got a roaster northbound that's 60 minutes 50 minutes Timber log delivery. Shall we do the timber log delivery? 
hopefully i think they said they're going to um they're going to do later on do some freight freight runs as well what's the one you're doing oh okay I mean, this is the sort of one which would, which the sort of thing that would look good doing the services, like, you know, when I do the train sim, Discord members choose the route sort of thing. Um, welcome to Kerr Station. You're assigned the to the 5417F early morning freight service, couple to the wagons, then deliver them to St. Peter's, whatever it is. So where's the wagons then? So where are we? Oh, we're at Kerr. Only two wagons? Really? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to open the windows. I think the thing I find annoying is the sound of the air conditioning. A lot of time will be spent in the engineer's seat. Set the mask key through on. This is the thing as well. You've got to remember... Getting all the points now. Oh, so where do you turn the AC off then? Yeah, I, I've seen that, um, Johan. There it is. Have we on, on the right lights? Where am I? Oh, I'm there. Okay. We should really have the rear lights on, but I think that's that one, isn't it? So in theory... There we go. There's only one. Oh, okay. Right then, let's get going. Hi, Ethan. I like the the zzz. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, just two wagons. I suppose I have to go and hit the actual thing on the mark, don't I? It's a bit of a weird coupling system, isn't it? Are the points that I take it? Yeah, because they're automatic, aren't they? Oh man, I'm gonna lose my shit because the pavement not the right colour. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's try that again. I mean, as with um, any new route it's always going to take you time to get used to the controls and everything even with the new logo i suppose that's all she wrote yeah definitely I'll tell you what Right, should we try again? Make sure we have the right set of lights. Because I've not turned anything on, that's why. No, it's the control wheel. So in theory, the lights are on. Must give me the wrong one. Do you see that that line across? Oh, it does come out on the stream. Okay. That's not annoying. That's a that's ever since um, Trains in World Two. I've been having that. I didn't have that at all in Trains in World, but uh, 2020 or 2018. Right. Let's go.
put her in first. Yeah, I get it a lot on some of the preserve stock as well. Just saying, if I lose the stream, I will come back on. Um... I will stream again. Um, I don't. I've just got a funny feeling that the uh, the game might crash. Yes, it does. Yeah. I think they need to sort the s sort the sound out a bit. Oh no. And the thing is, if anything is bugged on um, on here, you know damn well that they're going to get it fixed. Nice little log wagons, aren't they? I take it this is the uncoupling bar sort of thing. Could be wrong, actually. No, I think these are the bars that they go up, don't they? I'm not sure. So that. Right. So we're coupled up. Do it that way then. Right, let's get the windows open. It breaks off. We've got the green, green, green go. <laughs> Thanks, Johan. We always like likes.
wrong way. Like I said, I'll never make a train driver. Unto Sax Line 1. Does it spark at night? Oh, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, okay. Uh, you can apparently, because uh, someone not too distant from here has uh, put a, um, a class thirty-three with um, associated vacuum brake stock running along here as well, which is uh, impressive to say at least. Javelin or ice train would uh, uh, be uh, what you call it. It's quite nice, isn't it? Good old 101. Oh, the 101 would be nice up here. DBBR 363. That's right, Bradley. We don't have a clue, do we? So is that some sort of loco shed there then? Now if that's some, some loco shed, it's a real shame that you don't get to use that. 
park your coaches up at night. <laughs> so drop in speed. Ninety kilometers an hour. Mm -hmm. I'd like to take it round here, give it a go. Hi, uh, Jaeger. How you doing? Why does it look confusing? Okay, Jack. a nice little S curve going on there. See, the one thing that I would like to see on here from Rivet is uh, the Gothard line. Because that does look amazing. Uh, it's about 110 kilometres, which is about probably about 70 or 80 miles. So Jaeger, why does this look con confusing? I, d I don't understand. Um, not on this one, no. But I know what ones you mean about, yeah, the rack ones. So where have we got to go? From this bit here up to here it reminds me of like sand patch but a more squiggly line version of it
very much an adhesion railway. So obviously the other thing is with this as well is that you obviously if it's in snow like the lot the the intro was you're not going to see this little bit you're not going to see the texture and everything It looks like it's three wagons, but it's not. It's two. I think the other thing as well is that a lot of people for train sim, a lot of train sim world owners, not just PC, but console owners, expect perfection with a loco or with a route. You can only do that a up to a certain point. You can model it damn near to a certain point. You're always going to get those people that say, no, this should be right, this should be right. And the problem you find there is that to a point where they model it... Oh, that looks nice. at the point to where they model it to where as they can you're always going to get those people that say that's not good enough that's a hell of a turn that I'm not sure Dave to be honest Like I said, in a past stream, oh, that is nice. You're always going to get those people that scream, we want this route, or I want my local route. Oh, can I do this? Nah. I think to get photo opportunities, you're going to have to stop the train. You know, you're always going to get people that will always want their local route done, and they scream when it's not done or anything. You know, we know. I think we know that we're going to get the East Coast Main Line at some point in Trains in World. Oh, geez, look at that! Ooh. Oh, don't stop boy you got a nice little steep gradient look come on have you got to do that thing where you got to put it back to zero and then start again there you go she picks up a bit but yeah Bradley that's true you know you might have started rolling backwards. I wasn't far from it, <laughs> to, from rolling backwards, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is the point. You have got your local route, you know. Um, I think it's 3.3 hours, that one, I. Um, which is fair enough, you know. It just literally goes right past your house. Literally, the bottom of your garden. Yeah, but the thing is, they won't do that. They won't. They've said they won't do extension of routes. Um, I 
I mean... The thing is, with Train Sim or Train Sim World, you are never ever going to appease 100% of the people. Yeah, they're not going to do an extension of the Bakerloo route. I don't even think they are going to do the extra, the 250 extra services on Bakerloo line. I mean, do we really need it? No, you're always in the wrong bloody place. That looks nice. Well, yeah, that the Bakerloo line is that's what it is. It's there. It's. I think a lot of people want to be able to use. I mean, I was so disappointed with the Bakerloo line where you couldn't use the West Coast Main Line bit. You know, you got two massive railway yards there, a depot. And I find, again, that's just like... It was kind of half-assed attempt at doing it. They've done the full route. Yeah, kudos to those, but... At the end of the day... I mean, I'm, I'm not being silly here, but the lack of trees there does not ruin the route for me. And I think anyone making a point thinking it's a valid point, then you really do need to get your priorities right in life. Because at the end of the day, what I see is this lot here. That's fair enough to me, I'm happy with that. Doesn't make no difference to me whatsoever. No, no, no. I, I think I think um, Dave was talking about like the extension. I think you get the silver. The silver link went up to Watford Junction, which runs along the line, doesn't it? Well, it was, used to be silver link. I don't know what it is now. I haven't been there for ages. So, oh, some more external add-on or tubes. Um, I'm not really what bothered about other tube trains, to be honest. Other tube lines. If they do them, I'll get them. But then, for London Underground, does that mean they set a precedent now that every UK route has to be an underground route? I'd rather not. One maybe in a blue moon? Maybe, but not every bloody route sort of thing for London Underground. I prefer to have a decent route where we've got decent locos. Mainly it'll be a 66. Possibly a 60 or a 70 if they could get the licence, blah, 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 and all that sort of thing but they can at least get a 66 and there's so many decent talented people out there using uh livery creator you know what i mean that they can create liveries of locos like rail freight construction class 66s etc etc this is going to be such a great walk to route route to walk even Oh crap. I just put the emergency brake on, didn't I? And they got their little Swiss clock there, look. Uh no 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 no. No no no, come on. Put brakes on, brakes, 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 brakes. Loco break, come on. 
stabilise. So we're up in a 1 in 24. Close, but no cigar then. I mean, the thing is, I mean, even when we had trains, there was always people that complained because the models didn't look right, the routes didn't look right. Or whatever so no matter what whether it's trains microsoft forza gran turismo you get people that just want perfection in everything you know 95 percent of the time these are the people that haven't tried modeling doing a route making a model a g max uh g max version of a car train coach station building these are the ones that were always openly criticised because it's not to their expectations. Is it? The chair's adjustable. Arr. I got to stop at St Peter's. Mol Mol St Peter's Mollins Platform 2. I mean, you know, disappointed in being that the the great the great western, um, the west coast mainline bit you couldn't drive on it. And I was thinking, well, what's the point in putting it in there? The other thing that I find disappointing as well is that there's no freight wagons dumped about some of the yards along the Great Western Express. For instance, now that they've added the freight to Great Western Express, oh hello, Ooh, that one, that's nice, looking down in the valleys, um, now that they've added th um, the freight to Great Western Express, I just find it like the 08 has one service for freight and that's at 5.30 in the morning and then after that it just sits in the yard and uh, chimes away <laughs> oh, uh, good evening there Ashton how are you welcome to the, welcome to the stream mate I was going to say welcome to the chair because I'm reading what Ethan uh, Evan wrote above which was the chair is adjustable Is that a little bit of snow? Oh no.
in 17 now. It's a bit steep, isn't it? I keep reading that as 13 kilometres, it's not, it's 1.3. That's a nice uh, big pylon. Yeah, Rob, I said, you know, there are some, yeah, there were some, you know, were, were some great discussions about constructive criticism, but then there were some that were just downright, what do you call it, down, just downright insulting. And these are the, those are the ones that basically never ever did a model or anything. They were the ones that always expected, oh, let's have this, let's have that, come on, where is it, where is it, where is it, you know. Yes, exactly, Rob. How's the catch, by the way? So if you enjoyed the stream, give us a like. Chuck us a like. Chuck us a sub if you haven't subbed and you're enjoying it. Yes. Expecting, yeah, is completely something else, yeah. I mean, that's why I never made any models, because I just couldn't, I just... I would... I used to do um, a lot of modding for Star Wars... St Star Wars... Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Using... I think it was using the... Um, what do you call it, engine? The... Doom engine, I think it was. Can't remember. Or was it? I don't think it was the Unreal engine. And I was never ever good at creating anything. What's the level crossing? I was never ever good at creating anything. So I always like suggested, made suggestions in that. Actually, I tell a lie. Th there was one thing that I was good at and that was I took people's creations of certain characters that you could use in the game and I added I managed to get quite a few samples of um, for example one of them was like Homer Simpson or the no, that's a window the used to have the Star Trek, I had the Star Trek Marine and I used to have be able to get some really good samples uh, do these things have handbrakes so I don't want them running off down the um, running off down the line and I used to put these samples to uh, of like seems good there at the moment of like if the um, if the marine was getting shot he'd be he'd, you know he'd shout go ah ooh ee, like that sort of thing um, but it'd be like the samples of from the one of the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episodes and um I was pretty good at doing, you know, providing samples and, and that, you know, and like for map making, I, I, I asked, there's a few people in our little clan that used to make maps, and I asked them, I said, well, try and do a map like this, like a clan map, you know, um, and yeah, it, it, it got quite good reception on that, and, and, you know, how you expect it, or how you decide how it's going to look no how you describe how it's going to look to how someone actually produces it and you think 
it's not as what I was expecting, but it's damn close to it, or it's near as damn better. So, yeah, you know, I'm just like... It's one thing to be constructive, then there's another thing, like I said, that's just being absolute moron to people about it. I'm not going to change ends. I love the way the old pantograph stuff's moving. Not the pantograph, the cantina. -y. I just need to have the brake on, I think. I take it the uh, route is signalled. God! Going round the bend. What's going round the bend? Oh, crap! That's uh, doing 35 miles an hour, or 35 kilometres an hour. Yeah. Where am I stopping? All the way down here. the wrong, I mean, you should be using what you call it brake, shouldn't I? Uh, no, put the, keep the loco brakes on. Take the vacuums off. Put her in the first. couple to formation two vehicles right let's get back in there it's weird isn't it oh Bradley what have you done You all think I didn't see the red light, did you? So I got a yellow light, I know. Yes, there is some... Um, are you doing it in thingy um, mode?
Are you doing it in um, scenario creator mode? Where am I setting the manual junction? Well, what I mean, I might as well do that, am I? So I'm sh so I'm shunting them back into here. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Snow globes. Get your snow globes. Oh. Get your snow globes. Anything else? Is there an ibix around here somewhere? An ibix is a uh, a goat sort of thing. I think it is. Well, at least they've got the um, uh, the uh, proper machines. Not like the Birmingham one's got um, southeastern ones. <laughs> so I thought that was quite funny. Um, oh, I've got to shut the loco down, haven't I? Cripey. I'll just do it backwards, sod it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do... Oh, there's another... Is that another load train up there waiting for us, look? Oh, wow. Do you think I'd better clear the platform first? Um... Going that way, aren't we? Ah, journey, okay. I mean, that's what you got mirrors for, isn't it? Oh, I've got to pop down there. Oh, right, okay. using the dynamic braking. Mind you, though, how many tons is this? Whether they've got this weighted right. 106 tons, or is that it? Make sure.
apparently they say make sure that you've got it you got it going before you actually release the brakes apparently that's what it says in the rbb loco manual So I've stopped them. Come on, don't do this. Crap. Oh no! Uh wheel, 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 wheel. We've got Yeah, you got, you got, uh, you know, the loco's only um, fifty tons, so let's take the dynamics off. Put her into about four or five. Take the loco brakes off, and then the handbrake, the the vacuum brakes slowly. Let it build the power up. There we go. Hi Joshua's Union Pacific and BNSF, the BNSF Productions, how are you? Uh, no, I'm not supposed to do that one. Well, I screwed that up now, haven't I? I'm going to hit the red light. So I've gone through the red light. Ah, oh, fudge. There you go. I mean, it's it's not easy, and it's something that obviously you've got to get used to. So, yeah, I didn't obviously have the brake sorted um, thingy. So, uh, shall we try a journey? Because what I'll do, we'll do a journey, and then I'll I'll do some Great Western Express if everyone's up for that. I think you just got to give it time. Give it time. Cause it's it's a new way of driving that you you're having to do obviously you're using vacuum brakes and the vacuum brakes are shite on most things these days to be honest it's like me with uh i could say pensacola peninsula corridor with that cat the f43 thingy cat give me the baby bullet any day but the cat i just cannot tame it it's just bad the mp436 the, 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 the paintable version thing i can do it but with the the cat, the F four three forty cat, whatever it is, cannot do it. All right, so let's have a look what journeys we got. Please don't be in the rain, for God's sake. Introductions and expect that's all that lot. Morning startup. Chur Arosa. F forty, yeah. Um. Let's do that one. While that's loading in, I'm going to pay my respects to Armitage Shanks. So I'll see you in a second.
Drive this southbound service to a road. Oh, bloody hell. We're at night. Why have we got to be at night? Oh, it's in the daytime. 0507. Why well, can't be in the summer from the 0507? Well, let's see what I'm doing then. Well, we, we have to start somewhere. Let's uh, lights. Oh, no, not wrong one. So you need to turn them on first. I forget, turn the air conditioning off for starters. There we go. I thought I turned the... Oh, it's the other one. That's annoying me where you can't really do the full 360 job. Um, the instrument lights are on. So we got to stop at chair. Pantos are up. No, nah, loco brake was not on. There she is. Actually, I did see somewhere. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, it's in the dark. I mean, to be honest, the tutorial really doesn't give you a lot about the loco. You'd have to, I mean, you know, you'd have thought you'd have a couple of more training manuals. Let's guess. Um, Jamie doesn't have a console. As far as I'm aware. He just has a potato PC. Or super potato now. And if, it, if they would have requested it. It would have been an Xbox. Ooh. Starport tool. For Elite Dangerous. That's old Bradley. 
Right, where are we off to? Oh, Matt. Oh, of course, Matt. Yeah, it's on the Xbox. Yeah, of course it is. It was Matt and Jamie. They literally do not show anything on the Pete on the PlayStation. They said PlayStation 4 is too hard to stream. Really? Um, I made the announcement last night, and thank you to Brad who did remind me because I completely forgot about it. But the Baby Bullet Loco and the, tr the actual train set, the coaches, are all available to paint in the Paint Your Loco competition. Um, it doesn't matter whether you paint the coaches because it's not really the coaches that I'm, we're looking at. It's the competition to do with the Loco. So you can paint the Loco whatever you want. So you can use that. So Johan was okay in doing his yesterday. Also, this loco that we're driving, the RB thingy 44, that's also available for painting as well. But apparently, it doesn't work. Well, there's a surprise. Crappy brakes. Yeah, the, I mean, I think we're used to using um, air brakes, aren't we? And this thing uses vacuum, and vacuum just takes too long. And the other thing is as well is the AI can, can contain or can sustain a normal power level. We can't. We get 1.5 or 2. 1.5 or 2. The AI can go between it and then st stay at that power level, in increased level. Right. I've got to go down and sort her out for bed and get her oxygen machine sorted. So I will. I'll pause it here. I will be back up. You can break the 101 perfectly fine, yeah. It's. Just, I think it's just getting used to it, Bradley. To be honest, I'm just going to go and get her um, her sorted, and I'll be back in a minute. myself a drink as well.
Okay guys, I'm back. Hello. Right, okay. Sorry. Yes. I'll tell you what, I've been finding, even with the 52, using air brakes, and the 47 and 45, I'm finding them hard to stop at the spaces, at the... At the at um, Reading. I don't know why. Just finding it hard to stop. I mean, the HST, I can do that. I think we're running ECS, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're running ECS. The sound is quite nice. I see snow globes. Sound of the brakes. I'll have to hear that from the outside in a bit. Six one eight, as in what? Forty seven six one eight, or six to eight, like me, or six one eight with the red loco. Keep an eye out for request stops as well, apparently, haven't I? Or is that just on scenarios? Oh, the GE4472, okay. Seventy two stop. Ah oh, right. I'm sure they said it should work.
so not this Saturday, a week this Saturday, I will be doing another Discord members choose the stream, uh, ch choose the stream, choose the roots. But from Sunday, this Sunday, I'll put them in. So don't forget, you mods, you still get the class 3133 charge, okay? So, um, yeah. Whenever that gets released. Cheers, guys, for the likes. It's appreciated. So just saying, if um, if you do have PayPal and you you uh, want to donate, it'd be easier to donate via PayPal um, than it would um, on um, via just like the super chat feature. Because basically, soon um, I'm going to be charged tax on um, my viewing from people from the US. Okay, Dave, you take it easy, mate. So yeah, if if any of you are actually thinking about donating, then if you, and you do have PayPal, use the PayPal link above, please, because um, I get all the money and not the US tax man. Really? Whereabouts did you um, derail, Evan? Yeah, I'd love I'd love to say I'd love to have it through YouTube, but basically, um, I'm not prepared to pay the US tax man. Although I've got no choice in it, um, I've already got one form that I've printed off and filled out. But I've got a, I've got at least another two fill, forms to fill out and send off near Arosa. Okay, is that coming or going? I've got at least another two or three forms to fill out yet and send off to the American tax man for them to decide whether I need to pay tax. Hi, right, Neo. Yeah, it sounds all right. Sounds a bit like the um, 38 stock. Just edge it a little bit. Going. Oh, that's not too bad. Not like you've done the whole route and then basically you derailed outside of Rosa. So, yeah, we're at night. Well, we're early morning, to be honest. Hi right, Daniel, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I'm going to have to knock it back a bit. I don't get a sneeze. Excuse me. Hi Kenny. Is it a tram? No, it's a locomotive, to be honest. I suppose when it's on the road it like becomes a tram no I'll go have a sneezing fit in a minute oh 
Oh, this mic picks up everything as well. So, if I sneeze, I'll try not to sneeze. I'll sneeze muted. I think. Sorry. So you've got two and a half kilometres to go to the next station on platform two. I've no idea what it's called. Don't ask. That looks quite nice. So, I mean, I like, I do like this, but like I said, I was really, really, like, deciding whether to pay, well, I only paid 22.49, but I decided on whether paying that for it or not. Not so much for the price, I've got, I will pay for the route, but I just, there's just something, I, just something about it that I didn't like about it. In the end, I mean, you know, it's it's good. It'll make its money worth. Oh, let's go up a notch. Well, might as well sleeve it around. So a thirty mile an hour, thirty kilometer an hour speed restriction. That's going to be a bit close for uh, walking the route. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Jack. Hi, Jack. Um, I'll speak to you later, Jack. If you're about. Take it easy. You want to talk, Jack? Just drop me a message in the um, Discord, okay? It is a four-way dance. Um, I'm not saying I'm disappointed in the in the thingy of it, but someone's going to win it. Oh, five-way because we got Johan with the MP43 with the baby bullet. It won't be a six way or a seven way with the um, SD40 and F7. Um, but yeah. I'm looking forward to the Clinchfield route actually. One kilometer to go. For our first step. It's only about a, a 16 kilometer route. And seeing as we're out in the open. It's beauty.
suppose the other thing is as well is that as you're approaching the station you can use the inertia and the 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 um the, the gradient to slow you down instead of the brakes so yeah some very good entries in the competition you have less than a week left to get your entry in i will not be accepting entries that are not properly done in the correct format or they are posted after the competition closes they will not be counted and this might well be the last competition for a while obviously because um, the uncertainty of my job for starters well I know the certainty of my job it's 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 non-existent after a certain after, well I'm safe until July at least so there won't be a um, grab your copy of be able to get a free copy of train sim world what insert the next yearly update cycle in here title uh, because I won't be doing it Well, you could get it as soon as you can if you win. The same with Bradley, Johan, Jack, and Evan. I thought I had to stop here. I was got off oh, for God's sake. You derailed again? Really? Well, that's interesting. I mean, I'm looking at trying to find time at the moment to um, do some more liveries because I want to do the 66 livery of the uh, construction one. But I've also got, well, after this week, it will be tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday night live streams as well as the three live streams I did last week to sort out the the details on them I also have to redo all my video release dates for the main specific barn and the other two routes that I've got that's a bit weird What's that, the competition entry, Bradley? Yeah, there's a few 66s I have in mind. Um, there's a few 08s as well but it's just at the moment it's just trying to find time to do it and i just really don't have time um i've got more videos to release i mean i should have recorded two more videos to, um for Cole nackham which i haven't and that's the really that's what i really need to, to do and get on with oh the construction delivery yeah i know i just got to try and find the um that's okay. I, I've got to try and find the, the, the liveries. I mean, it, um, I'm kind of hoping that I can get this done because this weekend it's the Grand Prix as well. So I know that'll be probably late in the evening and I'll probably want to do a bit of Call of Duty. I've still got to look at um, Saints Road the third as well. So, um, yeah.
yeah I, I mean I, I need need to do it at some point but there's a lot of lists of stuff that I have to do and to be honest I understand why um, Spurs Reading guy said about that he's giving up doing like the news you know TSW news the the um, videos for that the videos for the updates for the um, content release the roadmap update and all that because basically it's added pressure so plus he said he's got another he's got a new job or oh, he's got a job so I didn't realize he's out of work um, so I can understand why he's giving that side up but he's still showcasing like new routes I don't know whether he's going to be doing scenarios still showing scenarios and journeys and that um, but then rather strangely enough he said he's still going to keep content for racing games Forza Formula One and FIFA I think it was he's still going to keep that going on his channel so yeah I, I don't know seems a bit weird but you know at the end of the day it's up to him isn't it you know so I can I can, I can understand uh, because obviously I've got my job my full time job at the moment and I've also got oh we're picking up a bit of speed there um okay you can release the brakes for crying out loud um oh, this is a nice steep bit so I've, I've got the job at the moment also looking after her as well um and doing all the bits that's needed for that so there are times where i might not be able to stream so yeah there's just a lot to do and a lot to oh. uh, you know i've really got to try and plan it out a bit I mean, the kind of annoying thing where and it did happen tonight is that my mates see me on and they keep sending me invites for playing call of duty and i think it was i was watching the light the the roadmap live stream and they kept sending me all three of them invites I had the PlayStation on because I had the other, I had the stream on the uh, on big screen, um, without the chat on on the PlayStation going through, um, and they just kept messaging me. So in the end, I literally had to come offline for them to stop because they just repeatedly do it. Once you're offline from within, I think the Call of Duty game, they cannot send you uh, an invite. <laughs> um i don't know I, I i know the mercedes weren't doing very well can you better worry about this foot stop first there's that dreaded spad so I mean I, I've, I've still got to play some more Mafia because I love that game Mafia Trilogy and I've still got Saints Row the third to install at some point and have a go. So that'll probably be done on a Sunday. But it won't be this Sunday because I've got too much to do. Plus I'm also cooking a roast dinner as well. I mean, I also said that last week for Easter weekend... Um, on the the Monday, I was going to be doing a um, 
an all day eight hour stream i can't do that i just don't have time for it there's so much over those that easter weekend that i can get done so um yeah that ain't gonna happen How many people get off or get on? Absolutely none, look. Where are you? I'm well, supposed to be probably the first train of the day, aren't we? All the Karens are home in bed. Peace. Oh, the coaches. That's because you could also... Oh, someone will complain about that. Come on, let's get some speed up, boy. Oh, this is an experience, to say the least. It's interesting to see what the next Rivet Games route will be. Yes. Okay, Johan, you take it easy, mate. Take it Um I might see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night will be LA Noir will streaming. Well, we're over halfway there. Yeah, that Gothard line, it's got two or three loops in it. When you actually go in the tunnel, you're literally going round on yourself and up a gradient. It looks really, really good on Train Sim. You can pick it up, Train Sim, for about 6.49 or something like that. It is impossible to be on time. I'm not worried. Nice picks. That's not bad stopping. <laughs> How many people get on? How many people get off? Come on. Come on. 
Station clock says quarter to six. More snow cones. That's quite cool, actually. I'm stuck. I mean, overall, this does look quite nice. So eventually if we do get to thingy we are going to do a service on the southeast no we're not uh great western express hopefully i think this saturday i mean i i might do a um sand patch service journey and we'll do a Long Island Railroad one and then after that I'll put the rest in a hat What on earth is that? To 2015-04-1970. You got me there, Bradley. Oh, we've got Long Island Railroad. I quite like it. I did change it to Jamaica uh, and a couple of other runs on it. It's just remembering how to drive the bloody trains. So we're now level field, level playing field now. Are oh, you getting the M7 bud? Oh, uh, it'd be 1970. the other thing as well I find which really annoys me about people with roots is that ah this is where you took your picture which I made 3D on Facebook I forgot it had the bloody what do you call it in there Alright. 
It's good because you still, even if you're driving the M7, you still get to see some M3s running about. So that's pretty cool. And that's even with the change of Jamaica scenario. Yeah, like we'd be a Sam Patch or um, Long Island Railroad. Uh, your picture that you'd put on Facebook or no, it wasn't it. It was uh, Discord, and I put it on Facebook at the train going over the bridge, and I made it 3D. Well, Facebook made it 3D, not me. one of it going over the bridge check out the Facebook page Hent Israel is on there and the community for the um, YouTube oh that's awesome yeah it's a nice little shot actually oh you bad I've also got to start playing uh, Elite Dangerous at some point because I want to start uh, getting proficient at it again before I start doing um, the odd live stream with it. The thing is though, with the live stream, what I'll probably end up be doing through the live stream is just doing um, um, naval missions or empire missions and just basically buying and selling stuff between um, uh, starports and stations. I take it we had to do the left doors. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, so how many passengers got on or off? I like the reflection. Has the PlayStation version got any passengers or what? Ticket. Tickets, please. Is that a handbrake? There's no one in here. Oh, is there a boldie there? I thought it was a bold head. There's no one on my bloody train. It's just me, Billy No Bates. Not even the guard made it on. Jesus. Can't sit. Ooh. Don't sit in there. everyone that must be so quicker for me to do that that level crossing is annoying me yeah I think they must be all fall asleep still asleep
Right, lock the door. Two point four miles to uh, that one. Ghost train, definitely. That looks lovely. I'll tell you what, that'd be even better with a 08 going across there. <laughs> nice one, Evan. So all I can say is 47, 45, 31, or 52. Yay, nice one. I've, I've, well, at the moment, I've given up because basically, um, like I said, my job security, well, getting a PS5 at the moment, I don't think is a priority. Just you and, you and your middle-aged son. Okay. Middle-oldest son, sorry. It's good to know that most of you are all PlayStation players. No, no. Apparently they've been told by Sony not to put any in the shops. Apparently game have been told only sell online. Do not put any in the shops. Which I think is a right shit. Hi, Ellen, the R train fan. How are you? I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Just the rest of them. All right, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. That what well, that one guy that stated about it. I mean, I mean, the first thing he said is he said these 13-year-old pieces of crap. Hold on a minute. These have only been released since 2013, so how can they be 13 years old? And then basically he turned around and said, oh, I'll just drop the subject. I don't think it's right. You know, blah, blah, blah. But then he goes on and puts his four eggs in again about why DTG should be using them. And I'm like... Oh.
And of course, it, the, the, there are some people that are, that Ildi, whatever his name is, that mention me and Megasim um, about our videos, that they stutter at the same points every time. But uh, it doesn't bother me. Why people get so stressed out over it, I really do not know. God, that's a nice steep bit. Oh, yes! Have I gone past the station? No. Dawn's coming. All right. Yeah, Red's just literally up the other pla in the other platform. I mean, the problem I have with the PS5 is it's about an 895 gig solid state hard drive. That's basically, if you look at, I mean, tr Train Sim World on here, for me, is now about 73 to 75 gig in size. That's a lot. And then I've got GTA, Elite, you got Call of Duty as well. And that's going to, the high, te high, high end textures are going to start taking up a lot of space on that as well. And I don't think, you know, two terabyte, possibly three terabyte hard drives, solid state drives, yeah, they'd be worth it. But I, with just that 895 solid state hard drive, no. I mean, solid state drives are nice. I mean, this is what my PC is. I've got, I've got, a, I think there's about 895 terabyte. No, 895 gig, one terabyte, sorry. Um, and that is what, um, Windows loads up in what, 20 seconds? I'll find out later on how much it is for me. Go via Hasperglub. So Dawn is approaching fastly. Over in that direction. What's that direction?
I mean, the thing is, like, he stated that he's got the PS5 and he wishes, you know, it does run fast. And then basically when people turn around and say, yeah, it runs fast, blah, 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 do you get stuttering? Then you mention the stuttering and that other guy starts going on and on and on about the stuttering. And at the end of the day, it was just a thread that didn't need to appear, to be honest. There's always someone that has a better idea of how someone should do something i.e. DTG should do this they should do that they should do this comparing DTG to a multi-million company like Electronic Arts or Rockstar where they can throw thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands possibly even millions of dollars at a production and have how many studios around the world I know Rockstar has five or six around the world even stuff in India and China that they do Dovetail have um, Royal Chat and Docs that's it they don't have Dovetail India Dovetail China, Dovetail Thailand Dovetail Holland, Dovetail Leeds they just have Dovetail Chatham Hello. Oh, sorry. Dovetail Kent, yeah. So, you know, this is this is the point being, is that Dovetail can't throw millions and millions of pounds at um, at Trains in World, you know? This is why routes are expensive. I mean, if you look at used to look at a maps for um, for Call of Duty, sometimes you used to pay thirty two pound for four maps. Now you pay sixteen pound a season, part for a season pass, which lasts about three months, fifty five days, and you do that in a way four times a day, four times a week. So that's that's sixty four quid. Then on top of that, you got to pay for the game as well. Then if you pay for any like reskins you want to buy. You know, so it's an awful amount of money you still have to pay. So, so getting a route on for Train Sim World, £24. How much fun do you get out of it? How much money would I make out of this via YouTube per year? I mean, I can check that out if I want. How much money I've made over the last couple of years? It may do. So the sun's rising behind us. Oh, it's a river look. Okay, I can't go too far off. I didn't realise I had the door open still. Should I shut the door? Hent is trail livery.
I think that is a thing on the forums that really, really does my goat. Is that people ban things about saying, oh, they can do this, but they can do that. You know, they'll be able to do this. They can run through this. They can, they can do that. I'd be able to do that if it was my company. Would they? That's a bit close, isn't it? Do those barriers go up? I don't think they do, do they? That's a shame they don't. No. No, he would have gone up by now. Yes. And this is the famed Arosa station. Wow, that was cool. Unlocked doors. It'd probably be about an hour and a half it took me, to be honest. Um, i got to say, I do like the route, but I don't think it'll be one that I'll be playing all the time. It'd be one that I'd probably stream every now and then in a stream, if you know what I mean. With the lake that you can walk around. Yeah, can you? <gasps> wow there's a passenger here shame he's a bit too far down the platform right let's see how we did in the hall of the something i shall have a look at that we got silver well, there's a surprise in the hall of the mount in the hall of the mountain king complete one service on the arosa line Hi ho, it's off to work we go. Complete the GE44 introduction to training module. So I've also, you only seen a blue screen here. I've also got the Clinchfield trophy set as well. Once, yeah, that's it, Bradley. Yeah, it's 25 miles. It's just West Somerset all over again, but with the electrics. You can see my erratic driving there, can't you? So. Well, we got a bronze hour and six, which is about six minutes over, which is about right. I think, to be honest, I looked. I sometimes I watch my streams back, and today it was the choice, the the turn of Saturday stream, or oh, it was Sunday, wasn't it? I did it, and West Somerset. I just really didn't fancy it at all. I just didn't even bother watching it on back on the stream. I just went on to the next route. So that I mean that's it for Arosa tonight because basically any more than I'm gonna be doing midnight. And I don't really want to be staying up here till midnight, so 
Hmm. <sighs> um. I mean, a roast, not a roast, so the other one. Um. It's a nice little route. Don't get me wrong. It does look nice, and I think my 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 fears about it being disappointing have been rested a bit because I don't. It's like it's like you know, like a bit of a um, uh, a West Somerset route. So I am tired. So it will be done as and when. Um, the scenarios I'll probably end up... Do you can't do... The problem being with this is that... Certain bits of this... I have an hour to record video. I could possibly do an hour and a half video... via two separate videos. You know, do one about 50 minutes, save it. Do the other one in 50 minutes, then save it, then edit them together. But, you know, I can do that as a train sim world short. Well, it's not a train sim world short then, is it? But... It was a silver, yeah. Hi, yeah, it was a silver, definitely. It's just that the trophy that I got earlier on was hi ho, it's off to work we go, which is basically uh, doing the training manual. Um. So yeah, I mean the. Um. And you got eighty four services on the timetable, which in the service on the sorry, you got eighty four timetable service which is, i think you've got 40 something like that service it journeys so um yeah there's a fair bit there god these earphones are making me hot um so yeah um so that's 21 routes now discover the latest what have we got snowy spectacle that's the new one isn't it Perfect, yeah, perfect your driving and your braking. Thousands of holiday makers and railway enthusiasts use the line each year. They weren't there when I was driving it. Put it that way. Um, Clinchfield, I will definitely be getting that. Definitely, definitely. Right, so Great Western Express, 1970s. Um, I did say earlier on what what do you want? Uh, thirty-one, forty-seven, fifty-two, or forty-five? Actually. That's wrong. No, oh, you donut. Fifty-two from Len. I'm actually just about to look at. Don't want the scenarios. Uh, journeys. Forty-five. Oh, piqued his interest. So I did that one last night, and. As I approach Old Oak Common, there was, um... Why have we got two 5853s? You can't, they can't do that. I, uh, as we were coming into Old Oak Common, I think I was with the 5047 from Reading. Had a lot of problems with the AWS on there yesterday. Um, there was an 08 coming towards me, coming towards me on the opposite track going back light. Um, hmm... Let's have a look. Um, I 
Take control of a class 101 and follow a late running service into Paddington. So where do we drive that from? Taplow. See, I've done the fixed stuff, and I've only got 1,500 for that, to stay there. 10 away from that one. I think we'll leave the scenarios. We can do them on a Saturday. Let's do this timetable. I'm going to do a... Um, Forty-five. Mainly because I've done a fifty-two and a forty-seven yesterday. We're gonna have summer. Wee bit of cloud, bit of wind. Um, So we could do one Charlie, Oscar one to Penzance. There's not going to be... I'll tell you what, the problem is these early ones, there's not really much about on there, so probably... So if you do one A01, you should see the 47. I should be interested to see whether it's a 52 or 47 or 45 um, at Old Oak Common. Bristol Temple means to Acton. Um, drive the express service originating from Penzance between Reading and London Paddington. Um, it's everything arriving at London Paddington, isn't it? It's not. Apart from that one, Penzance. Drive this service to Penzance from London Paddington. I don't really want to do that. I want to go from Paddington. Bristol Temple Meads. Drive this express service to Bristol Temple Meads from London Paddington. I don't know. I think we'll do that one. One Bravo. Oh, one Swansea. Drive the express service to Swansea from London Paddington as far as Reading. I think we'll do that one. It's summer, so it'll be like. Sorry, guys. Very indecisive tonight. I think it's really like what one I wanted to do. Overall, I'd give that about 8 out of 10, the route, the Erosa line. It doesn't matter because um, uh, Rivet made it. It's a nice route, it really is. It's on par with, with the Isle of Wight. But I'd love to see Gothard. I'd love to see that route. You're in, Bradley. <laughs> Thanks. Right, so we've got uncouple one vehicle. What's your... Um, are you on the 45, Bradley? Oh, we've got an 08, look. Whoa. Hi, Ethan. Right, so we are in 45, 1, 2, 2. Uh, 
and we've got a we're gonna have a 31 joining us i think right let's get ourselves going uh unlock the doors um make sure the key's in put the reverser forwards um i can't do that from there so i've got to Come on. A lot of time will be spent in the driving seat. No shit, Sherlock. But yes, the horns are slightly different. But the horn in the other cab works fine. So someone messaged, I think it was Richard said to me the other day about it, he said there's a bug, and I said it's not a bug. It's a bit like the class 20. How many different class 20 horns are there? Went until 523. Well, it's now, isn't it? Um, there we go. Doors are shut. Take the brakes off, that might help. 101 coming in. Give it the beans as we leave. the high horn that's buggered. I'll tell you what is annoying me is the lack of passengers on these latest routes or these latest out output these um, latest DLCs So I saw in someone's video that there was they were complaining about the um, that there was no it's 31 coming in there was no class 40 with the freight pack um, for this that was released and I'm like well it shouldn't be because the class 40 never ran along the Great Western Line not as a regular loco. I know the 45 did freight. So this would be the last run tonight. Because I'm pretty tired. Twenty six minutes to get to Reading. Let's get the old speed up a bit.
So approaching Old Oak Common. Fifty two inbound. Couple of locos there. Right, let's see what we got at Acton. A 47 on the fueler, and that is 47474. Then the 08 should be. Well, by now it should have done it. It should just finish. There he is. He's just going through the routine of moving back. So he's, he's coupled everything up. And that's the only time you'll see it move, is that time in the morning. It'll sit there now for the rest of the day. So yeah, for all those people that were there trying to disrupt the stream, giving me all the bad likes, um, the views are quite quite well. Thank you very much. So thanks for all the dislikes, because you just put my views up as well. Morons. I think sometimes they're very short-sighted. Yeah, they have done that, and it's it is really annoying. Um, yeah, it's a touch of up yours, basically. It's one person doing it. We know who it is. And I know why, basically, because I posted the, uh, the the link to the stream in um, Richard's server. And we all know who it was. He's obviously turned around, to, to, around in his own little server. And said to people, Hent is his streaming, all dislike his stream. And he's done it before. I've seen I've seen him do it. 
I was sitting on his server where he's turned around and said, Hey, this is streaming quick, all go and dislike his stream. And he's given the link to the stream. Yeah. This is the guy that still wanted to be my friend at the beginning of the year. This is the guy that I also told I didn't want anything more to do with him. On the on a publicly, I called him out on um, Joe's server, and I said to him, "I don't want nothing more to do with you. Don't bother me. Don't interact with me. Stay off my Discord." And I said, "Do we understand?" And he said, "Yes." And then come Christmas, I started getting private messages from him saying, "We can't carry on ignoring each other like this." And I replied, "Yes, we can." I meant what I said. Leave me alone. And since then, he's just done everything where he's just hated, uh, disliked the streams and everything. So it just goes to prove that he cannot be trusted. He cannot be trusted. His word is null and void. It's nothing. It means nothing. How can that guy carry on later on in life by saying, even if he goes to get married, I do. That means nothing, because what he says means dick. Absolutely dick. Because he cannot be trusted. That's what it all comes down to at the end of the day. Yes. And the point being is that if any of those ter do go and carry out what he says, then they're just as bad as him. But, you know, th that's kids today. That's kids today, because it's the thing to do, isn't it? And personally speaking, if I had the choice of... Um, I do have the choice, but if I had a permanent choice of not having likes and dislikes on any YouTube channel, I would do that. I would I would vote to have dislikes and likes removed off YouTube because to be honest someone it's easy for someone to put a dislike against the video but it's not easy for people to create content and sustainable sustain creating content that's good if you get someone that's constantly the same one person that's constantly disliking it because they have a problem that is that is the problem that person should sit down and think about how to create content themselves yeah boys we got a bit of peak haulage so you know people say don't get riled up about it. I don't get riled up I just say my bit and it's aimed at the person that does it because at the end of the day whether it's him or someone else they're just sad little individuals to the point where oh my god Hent is streaming let's go and dislike his stream why because you're a sad little individual hello got some TEAs there look so like I said you, that person you cannot trust what they say because at the end of the day they've agreed to leave you alone whatever stay off your channel which was wrong because him and his brother was able to get into my get onto my discord server um, I can't stop them from looking at videos I can't do that I can't stop them from disliking videos YouTube does not give me the luxury of banning someone permanently but YouTube won't think twice about letting porn bots comment and they won't do nothing if you if you state in the, the community the community area of YouTube that you're having problems with porn bots blah 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 that 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 thread 
gets locked down. You get no, uh, you get no offer of any help towards it from YouTube themselves. I'm fastly becoming really annoyed with YouTube because of this, because they won't do nothing about it. I'm not going to cry in the river. I'm not, you know, I don't want him to apologise. I told him that. I don't want his apologies. They mean nothing. And I just, it just proves it means nothing. Are we going to hit the ton? Bouncing along merrily. But at least it wasn't a real full-blown tree in the way. Then you want to see what the speed restriction was. I mean, also it just goes to prove as well. There's 28 people that have liked the stream and a big thank you to everyone that's liked it. He even turned around till he's blue in the face. Hopefully that will be soon, and he's not breathing anymore. And say it wasn't me. I don't believe him. Oh, spaz out on that bloody uh, flashy light. Exactly, exactly. At the end of the day, when you put yourself out in the public domain, you are game. You are fair game. Um, and there are always going to be some little fuckwit that basically thinks it's funny to do that. But at the end of the day, they're the sad little person that, that sits at the computer and dislikes your streams because they're an untrustworthy piece of shit. Hi, right, Jakey. But this this isn't DTG. This was Rivet Games. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh no, I'll take that back. I just had a brain fart. Sorry, Jakey. Um, I thought you were talking about the Arosa line. Sorry. <laughs> um. I kind of think it was a bit more of an experiment um, to do with now that they can just to see how well they could do the extra alternative timetable mode. I think everyone wants, there's a lot of people, I would say everyone because that's not true, there's a lot of people and a lot of people that want A, the line to be extended from Reading to like to Oxford and Didcot because that would improve a lot of playability. Um, and yeah, I understand, Mickey, exactly what you're saying there. A la Trainston, Reading to Didcot, well, Paddington to Reading. Um, and it would improve an awful lot of playability, obviously. But again, with this, just with this route alone, Matt said that if they were to redo this, if they were to do this route, upgrade it to like the 2020s, like 2019. At, at the end of the HSTs, the beginning of the IETs, 387s, is it? And, no, 357s. And the, uh, I can't remember the other purple and, purple and white ones that go around, 345s. Um, then they'd have to literally rebuild the route from scratch. Because so much on the route has changed. So that I thinking of a la Sandpatch Grade, where they've had to redo it for Sandpatch, you know, Sandpatch Grade for consoles, I'm thinking we might, we might, maybe we might see a rebuilt Great Western Express a la 2019-20 sort of thing. Could do, but, you know, don't hold your breath. Um, you 
yeah, I have to say with that, regards to what Jakey said, that um, they they obviously have the preservation team, which is going in and sorting out the things that are broke. Um, but I mean, I got to say, they seem to break more things every time <laughs> they put in the repaired things. I've noticed that a few times that a couple. Well, I won't say more things, but a couple of more things break, so to speak. Um, and they need, but I mean, they're only a small team, and they do need. They do need to um, to check more of the stuff, but it, it depends. Sometimes they just get told, just check this and check that. I suppose they don't get told, check the whole thing, go through the whole whole scenarios or what have you. Well, both. In, in both the 2015 and the, two, the and the 1970, the freight is dire. As soon as they mentioned about the um, the 1970s timetable being released, I was thinking, oh great, and, you know. And I knew that 52s used to work freight along here as well, as well as 47s. And when they said the 45, I thought, they, did they work along here on freight or passenger? But yes, they did work along here on freight. I'm not too sure about passenger, but I know passenger the freight they worked out of Acton Yard, but passenger they worked out of Bristol down to Weymouth and Westbury. Well, obviously that way, York, um, not York, um, and Dar up to Derby, Derby, Bristol, down to Weymouth and to Penzance. Penzance, sorry, not Penzance. Um, but as for the freight, I thought they're not even going to do that right because they turned around and said in the stream, yeah, we're doing the big freight pack from northern trans and i'm thinking hold on a minute big freight pack what's the thing that you see along this this along this route the most aggregate workings which strangely enough used to be done back in the 70s in little like coal vans and little hoppers because i've seen pictures of it yet again we have to make do with because they've not included era specific or era specific DLC apart from the um, apart from the TEA tanks yeah there's, there's not a lot of freight that does run that way there is obviously because you've got Who Yard but a lot of it goes from Who Yard to Tombridge I mean, there's nothing more that I'd love to see is a Paddington to Oxford via Didcot route for Train Sim World 2 based around the 2019-2020 timetable when it was the end of the HSTs and it was like the the IETs taken over and all the other new electric stuff but then you get people complaining why don't you extend it past Didcot further west why do we have to have the HSTs in it we've already got them you know it'll have that sort of stuff on it so whatever you decide to do it's never going to be enough for people to, to, to do I mean, that's one thing I would love to see them do, is do, an, do a version of this, basically between Reading and Oxford, because that would open up. Get the AI trains to use the Reading Triangle. You know, I know some of them do now. Some of the AI path ones do. Um, but I... I you know, I, I'd like to see it happen, but I don't think it will. Um, I mean, you know, most people have the Great Western Express route, so they'll have the HSTs, the 66, and the 166. 
all you got to then provide is the free eight set the free I don't I can't remember what it is the what set um, and the um, the IET trains as as part of the route DLC part of the route and you're fixed because the the pathways will be there for either 166 or HST to sub in right the, the the green 47 is not specific in that era the green 47 you can only use with vacuum brakes the same with the 52 um again the 52 was was vacuumed vacuum brakes so they'd only be able to use the west somerset coaches yeah weathering i think they could have done a little bit more on um but i suppose they've only got so finite time oh, i better start slowing down haven't i because i'm gonna overshoot reading as i've done before um one of the things you need to do is is sometimes i don't know if you if you watch the live streams at all a lot of people that and i'm not saying you don't don't get me wrong on that but i've noticed a lot of people that do a lot of um i, I don't really want to say complaining and i'm not having to go at you about this but i it's other people that you know i see that they, they they moan a lot on the forums about dovetail should do this dovetail should do that blah 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 and you ask them do you watch the live streams you get the answer no i don't have time i have a life i blah 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 do this or blah 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 do that then i'm thinking well l listen to the live streams watch the live streams and i think i think sometimes the other part is as well that i don't think DTG really think about what they can put in what they can do I mean one of the one of the big oh I better start slowing down oh, I 72 miles and I'm like oh we are gonna go yeah full brakes here I mean, one of the things that I got really, really annoyed over was the fact that the Bakerloo line, they didn't include, like, if you have the 66, you could you, you could see the 66 wagons, or 66... Oh, you're now going to stop, aren't you? The 66 in the, um, in the yard at Wilsdon, some coaches and that. But... I suppose they've got enough problems with Bakerloo at the moment with people moaning about it. It stutters for about a second every now and then. No, I understand that, Jakey. Yeah, I, I understand that. They, they, I understand what you're saying. They have missed out on what you think they've they've missed out in a lot of golden I'd say golden opportunities break you son of a bitch break you know they could have done this and they could have done that oh not to that far you donut go on oh we'll sit then there we go um yeah I wasn't aiming at you but I I see a lot of people I understand what you're saying but I see a lot of people that just I'm so gonna no I'm not sorted it <laughs> I've done that wrong as well haven't I no I haven't I mean, my, my point is that there's a lot of people that they will sit on the forums and moan like anything about why is it like this? Why have they done that? Why have they done this? 
and take a good example is yesterday in the stream the guy from jasper was it jasper 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 from rivet he sat there and he basically stated what they had as known bugs in in the um blimey oh got a bronze why am i not surprised in the um in this release and he said the bugs are going to be fixed That's it, yeah. There, I mean, there were, there were 45s that came off um, Acton on freight, so I've seen pictures of that. Um, but I knew they, they, they did the Derby to Bristol and down into uh, Weymouth and um, down to Penzance and all Plymouth Way and all that. So I know they did cross-country stuff down there. Um, Yeah, I understand what you said about you know where they think where where DTG missed out and what they could have done and everything. So, um, I mean, people need. I know people don't have time to watch it. I mean, tonight's stream. I'm not gonna. I've not watched that, and they'll probably be on t um, when they obviously did the stream. There's a lot of people that are probably moaning about should be this, should be that. You know, oh, this is bug, this is bug, and you look on the technical forum. There's a list of stuff, the length of my arm going on about a rosa's this, a rosa's missing on this, this is missing, this is bugged, this doesn't work on a rosa. And a lot of those bugs that they were talking about is ones that will be coming up in a patch in April. So most of the, those people haven't bothered watching the stream or haven't watched the stream. And it's, it's, this is what I always say to people is watch the stream. And unfortunately, you know, there are some people that are just so adamant against it um but you can't change people you can't force people to do it and i think this is why at the moment i'm staying clear of the forums in trying to answer people because i just get so i get wound up basically <laughs> about um uh just people thinking you cannot be asked to, to watch the um right hopefully they can let me out let me out. You won't be going anywhere just yet. Come on, get out. Get out, get out. Just in case it does move. Get in, get in. Come on, get in. Um. I oh, will shut that. I haven't got a ticket, by the way. Uh, do we want first class? It's down the other end, isn't it? Um. I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. Um, 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 oh, where are we going? That way? No, that way. There we go. Um, yeah, I just try to stay off the forums now because I just like... If you can't be asked to watch it, then I'm not going to explain stuff. I mean, I know, you know, I suspect Bradley... Oh, that's that bloody thing lying back again. I know Bradley probably watches the odd live stream. I mean, I'll probably watch a bit of the live stream tonight. I don't know before I go to bed. Probably not actually, because I've got to get up um, early. Right, first class. Here we go. Um, we'll have that one. There we go. Sit there. It's not going. To... Oh, I'll tell you what. Sorry, let's sit here. That's okay, Jakey, no worries. Yeah, I mean, this is why, I mean, about the, the, the 40s as well, is that the reason why you haven't got them in the, in the big freight pack is because basically they never ran, as far as I was as far as aware, out of Paddington and Acton and that. So, um, yeah, no worries on that. But no, cheers for coming in. Um, do you know what time this train leaves Paddington? <laughs> uh, not Paddington, uh, Reading. I've got to do that first, and then that. Oh, my dread. I think it's about a five minute wait, isn't it? I might not do that, actually, cause it's nearly quarter to twelve. Um, but yeah, I, I, I understand. I mean, the thing is, they have missed out opportunities I'd, I'd like to say um, 
Oh. Um, but yeah, you can't, you can't have it all your ways. I mean, this is what I'd like to see where you, you, you get the odd freight trade where you can come. You s I mean, imagine basically if this all went up down to, um, down through to Didcot and then up round uh, Oxford Way. So you can have freight originating from Didcot Yard and you can actually run that all the way up to wherever it is, Acton. Has your train left yet? Yeah, it has. So not only that, you could also have... That was all the common I was looking at. Oops. So you can have, like, freight trains also coming from Oxford Didcot Way and they'll come out round this way because they don't... You know, this is the AI stuff. They literally will not... Um, they will not hit Reading. They don't need to. So it's only the like some of the stuff that goes Reading to Acton. Uh, the same this way. You can have stuff coming from Acton off down this way for freight down to like Basingstoke, Southampton way. So there could be plenty of scope there for AI traffic. And... So he's got a he's got a yellow actually, so he should be going in a minute. No, he's got red. I wonder what else that is there. Interesting. I wonder if there's anything coming off. No, there's nothing. Yes, there is. Look. I wonder what that is. Um. He's probably waiting for him to come off. Actually. Where is he? It's strange. He's come out on that. He's coming out on the the down lot, the down fast. Why? Why would he be doing that? It's interesting where he's going. Um. But yeah, it's. You know, it's something... I mean, I'd love to see it. And, you know, I'm one of these people that... Oh, yeah, I'd love to see it. And again, I'd, I'd mention I'd love to see Eastleigh the pool in the time of, like, the 1980s with push-pull operation at Bournemouth. So you got a nice little thing. So, you you know, you get the old 4 rep, 4TC, drive that out as far as from Eastleigh down to Bournemouth. And then the 331 comes on. You attach, or you connect to the 331, uncouple the uh, what do they call it? It's a 45, I think, 47. You uncouple the uh, um, the four rep at the back, and then basically you take the 33. Literally, okay. So say like it only goes down the pool, and then it will AI. But you got to change drivers, whatever. AI gets off at pool, and you drive it drives off. But then you get the experience of driving the 33 between pool and whatever it is. Um, but then seeing the AI do that with the in dispatcher, that would be brilliant if it could do it. But that you know that's that's my local line, and I'd love to see that happen. Um, I'd love to see that. But you know, and then obviously then you've got the possibility of all the freight that works down into Southampton so you can add like within scenario creator you could add your own sort of freight and then there's the the, the possibility of DLC for Slandle stock for four VEPs four SIGs four SEPs um, so there's all that possibility of Slandle stock that can come in as well so but only work down as far as like Bournemouth so that's ideal but whether it would ha ever happen or not I don't know definitely don't know I'm not sure he's going anywhere yet. No, he's not. All we need now is a 31 coming in. I don't think it will. No. Right. I mean, you know, that's that's my ultimate sort of... I'd say it's my ultimate wet dream to have that route in... in and the Reading route in properly in, in Trains in World. But, you know, you can't really see it happening. And You know, you, you can always wish to have something in there sort of thing. And it'd be great to have, but there's not much you can do about it. Um, right, anyway. Thank you all very much for watching. 
I better get myself off the train actually, haven't I? Because it's not going anywhere. Maybe next time. Could I drive the 45 back? Not a chance. Oh, if you didn't know, before we go off anywhere, you want to turn the train lights on, put them on here. If you want to turn on, this is just basically the train lights for the uh, the coach. But if you want them for the whole train, turn them all on like that way. Or if you want them all off, want them on, all on, or you want them on individually. So if you just want this coach light on, fine. If you want the whole train, there you go found that out the other day bet you saying bet you all saying oh well, you need that oh okay better shut the door and I oh he's got a green don't go he might as well take our seat haven't we uh, we'll, we'll slum it in second class what do you reckon You did you did once um what Bradley, sorry. I completely missed what you did or didn't do. Where am I? I'm down here. You should see me, I should be in here somewhere. This is this is the thing that annoys me as well. Where are the bloody passengers? Okay, that's me. Where's the rest of them? This is the annoying thing. There is no other passengers on it. That is the annoying thing. There's literally... I've, I know it's about five whatever it is in the morning. What is it? Oh, we're on our way. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's go and sit. Slum it. Um, wish for a route. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, but you've got the route, haven't you? You know... And it's one of the best routes there is, South East and High Speed. You know, it goes right right down the bottom of your garden it passes. Um oh, sorry. sorry. But yeah, you know, I'd, that'd be my ultimate sort of like route would be this extended. I mean, as to the point, I can understand why they've only done the timetable and not what some people expected was the full route but uh, or the route in 1970s because basically you'd have to rebuild the whole route um because where the depot is here all this was um one set of sidings and then it stopped then there was like used to be a road used to be a cut in and then basically over that other side of the road another another set of sidings were about but, but this is like further on down um also the track track work was a lot different um you'd also have to rebuild the old station as well or the, especially for this one um do it in, in coach there's the old Reading Festival taking taking on over there it's a bit quiet this time in the morning um, but yeah it would be nice to see but I can't see it to be honest so um, I mean I have actually got video footage of um, I've got to try and find it out of me in a HST with a GoPro GoPro recording hanging out the window of going past Reading Depot and that that was awesome but depots these days are very sterile very sterile environments because they're all the same they look bland they're too concrete -y. they're never they're never the same with brickwork you know like the old eight the depots that you saw in the 80s and that but um yeah that's unfortunate that's how it is but we should stay with this as, lo as long as we can. There we go. It's just after the, the end of the sidings. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully we we might see a re uh, a new version of Reading in that. I, but yeah, just don't hold your breath. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you all very much for watching, for paying attention, for, for paying attention, for turning up and and liking and 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 that. And um, tomorrow night will be uh, La Noir playthrough. Um, so yeah, and then basically it's just going to be normal normal runs on saturday with services and that regarding the arosa line it's a nice route but as we said before it's more of a west somerset it's 25 what max 35 kilometers an hour no thank you um but yeah you know it's just like one of those things anyway <sighs> fast approaching midnight here so i'm gonna say good night i bid you farewell i will see you um round about quarter to eight tomorrow night um for la noir so um, yes thank you all very much i will hope to see you tomorrow if not stay safe and i might see you sunday uh, no saturday if i stream when i stream as well all right so take it easy guys um have a good evening rest of the evening all right bye bye